Good morning, Titans. Today is Tuesday, March 19th, and you're here with your host, Anna. Please rise for your national anthem. I'd like to start with a verse from Genesis chapter 1, verse 27. So God created humankind in his image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. Is there a more profound description of human dignity anywhere? This verse reminded me of the reflection from our Ash Wednesday service. We are God's masterpieces. God has created us in his image just as he created all humankind in his image. God does not want us to criticize ourselves or others, to constantly look for the faults. Rather, he wants us to feel his love and know that we were created to be masterpieces, just as we are. This does not excuse us from working to be our very best, but instead we should always try to be the best masterpiece as God intended and then accept the outcome. This week, I challenge you to look in the mirror and realize that you are seeing an image of God. And when you look in the eyes of friends, classmates, even enemies, to also realize that you are seeing a masterpiece created by God. I believe it will be much harder to criticize yourself or others if you remember this. Please bow your head and join me in prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear God, renew our hearts and minds and spirits to remember that you created us and love us for who we are, and help us to celebrate that. Please forgive us for our self-criticism, and also remind us that all humankind are created in your image. Help us to remember this and be kind to ourselves and others. We ask that during Lent, uh, from each homeroom, this week we'll be collecting cereal. So on Friday, right after the announcements, our social justice team will be coming to homerooms to collect both cereals, oatmeal, and other dry cereal. You can bring cereal into your homeroom during the week or on Friday and it will be picked up. Any support is appreciated. Any donation goes a long way. There is an important meeting for anyone wishing for a tryout for the boys soccer team on Wednesday at lunch in room 253. If you cannot make it, please see Mr. Cilio in room 253 this week. Attention all past, present and future hospitality students. Do you love Italian food? Can you imagine yourself in a cooking class in Rome, Italy? If so,